Welcome to flipping $400 into a Ferrari, where I initially took a $400 investment, bought a car, fixed a car, cleaned a car, sold a car, and repeated the process over and over and over until I now have $67,000. In last week's episode, we sold a 2015 Chevy Silverado Duramax, and we made $1,700 profit, which to be honest with you, is a really, really low profit. But we sold it wholesale, we didn't have to do all the repairs that it needed, it did need tires, it did need a catalytic converter, I didn't have to do any of that, and we still made $1,700 which brings us to a total of $67,000, which is what you get to come to the auction with me today to see what we can find for that price or below. I have no idea what we're gonna end up with, but you're gonna join me along the whole process. My name's Craig from Flying Wheels. Let's go to the auction. These are a good time. Chevy SSR pickup truck. This has the same, is it LS2, LS3, LS6? Which is the six liter? I forget, I'm sure. If I say one, you guys will correct me, but which one is in the SSR? It's the six liter, which is an awesome engine and a fun truck and a convertible and a pickup truck. Kind of neat, but they're worth tons and tons of money. These are still like in the 20,000s. Well, I have to say when I was told Hurst Olds, I wasn't thinking it was a 75. What an ugly, ugly car, W30, but it's an original. Let's see, one of two, 2,500 made, 1,900 with the W30 package, factory 400. This is a terrible looking car. Look at the T-tops with a vinyl roof. Oh my goodness, the 70s were a terrible time. The gas doors here. How do you go from something looking so classic in all of the 60s? Everything from the 60s looks so incredible. And then <laughs> this is what they did oh, in the 70s. Jeez. Let's see what's under the hood. What is a W30 package? I'm sure one of you guys know. Can you please let me know in the comments? There it is, Oldsmobile 455. Fun fact, the Trans Ams actually had Oldsmobile 455s in them if you got the 455 because they used the Oldsmobile engines in some of the Trans Ams because they ran out of the, what is it? This, this is a 6.6 .6 liter, I believe, which is the 455, which is what they use in the Trans Ams, I think. All right, we have a 21 Subaru WRX STI with 36,000 miles. Somebody drove this thing a lot in a year. STI, this is big bucks. It'd be kind of neat, but we've already had these in our Ferrari flip series. We've already had an STI. I don't really need one. I don't need a daily driver, so I don't know. I'll see what it goes for, but I don't need it. This, on the other hand, 2021 Camaro LT1. I think this has the suede Recaro, suede steering wheel. Yeah. This is so sharp. I haven't had any Camaros in the series yet, I don't think, have I? I don't think so. But even still with like this nice suede or Alcantara, whatever they call this leather suede combo interior, you still get like hard, cheapy plastic door panels and stuff. I don't know, these don't do much for me. You know what I really want is a school bus. And like I sold the limo, the limo was fun for nights out with friends. I think a mini bus would be just as fun to pull up and like swing the door open, that side door for your friends to jump into. Like that is more of like a van more than a bus. So I think a school bus would be kind of neat. Bring me back to my childhood days. This would be, well, I don't feel like fixing doors. Oh, this is pretty neat though. Like if I just showed up on a night out to pick up some friends or we went to a concert in this thing, I would be so pumped. Everybody's coolers fit here. Our friends all sit. Like this is pretty awesome actually to own one of these things. And how much money are they really? I don't know, but they can't be much. How the heck do you fix that door though? Hmm, this is on my radar just for the novelty of it. What a good looking boat. That is cool. But to be honest with you, I don't buy boats at the auction because you can't hear them run, you can't test drive them, you don't know what the heck you're getting. And they're usually here because you can sell them red light without having to do anything to them. So like, I don't know if it runs, I don't know if there's anything wrong with it, I don't know if it needs an engine. They just run it through the auction and they still sometimes get pretty good money for them. Here's another bus. More like a van than a bus though. Let's see here. Yeah, handicap van. Not as fun as the other one. Why does a 96 Accord wagon interest me so much? There is nothing to this car, Ooh, free DVD. Nothing to this car, but for some reason, I'm interested in it. We have here like a 75 Buick Skylark, nope, 79 Buick Skylark. This is ugly as F too, actually. Look at this fabric, though. that looks comfy. Wow, the 70s. Browns and oranges everywhere. Now one question, the whole car's original. Why put those in it? Ah, what they call in the UK a Mazda MX-5. Bummer, it's an automatic. And those things have literally never gone down in value ever. A shark front end, a Mako shark. What is that? That looks like a 78 Corvette. Let's go check it out right there. Well, I'm definitely right about the Corvette. What? A 427.76. I was wrong, but I went off the front end alone. 
a 427 did these come with a 427 and 76 during the gas crisis in a factory four speed i am interested i love how the handles are like this it's almost like today where you reach in to unlock my corvette very similar for its generation for technology kind of neat like a hidden door handle ah uh, not a factory 427 it came with a factory 350. let's check it out under the hood though i like this hood is that that's a small block that's not a 427. come on guys look at those heads someone's trying to trick me Oops. we also have a saturn sky it doesn't say a red line if it's a red line that would be really cool how can you tell ah red line literally in a five speed these cars weigh close to nothing and they're super super fast if you get the turbocharged four cylinder it's the same as like the uh, saturn view red line and the saturn ion red line and also the cobalt ss they all have the same engines is it supercharged or turbocharged i think it might be supercharged oh, that's a heavy hood all right it is turbocharged you see the turbo right there ecotech four cylinder turbo which is the same as the cobalt ss i believe it's a two liter yeah two liter turbo they actually use that same engine in the Can-Am side-by-sides. What are those side-by-sides? Can-Am, is it Can-Am? Is it Slingshot? The Polaris Slingshots actually have that same engine, non-turbo. And you can add the turbos to those Slingshots, make them crazy fast. I am a product of the 90s, so this 99 Chevy Cavalier with 208,000 miles, for some reason interests me. I have no idea why. Ha! <laughs> Super clean 89 Corolla. This is honestly what I learned to drive on. My grandmother had this identical car when I was 15. This is mint. Oh my goodness, this car is so mint. Same wheels and everything. Look at this car. It is a treasure. Why is this interesting to me? I don't know, but it's just cool to appreciate something so original. Look at how nice this Corolla is. Oh my goodness. All right, this is what I have my eye on. This is a 2021 BMW M440i xDrive. It's a hybrid inline six cylinder turbo with 2,900 miles and the car is amazing this is a seventy thousand dollar msrp the window stickers in the back it's going through today but it shows an accident and i'm not quite sure why so we'll have to ask the dealer why look at this interior this it smells like the devil's lettuce in here already though i don't know why 16 miles oh that's still empty what an amazing car now, this would be fun for me i'm on the pedals i'm on the calipers i'm on the wheels it's not an m4 it's a 440 m And like I said, an MSRP of $70,000. Executive package, $3,700. I love BMW's driver assistance package. Cooling and hot, uh, horsepower tire package, HP horsepower. High performance tire package, not horsepower, 1,500 bucks. Arctic Blue Metallic is a $550 option. And the Cognac Vernasca leather, $1,450 option. This car is amazing. And it's now in our wheelhouse. Like that 2021 BMW 440M is affordable to us. It's in our price range, which would be amazing to leave with today. The only thing that I'm worried about is the one accident on it. Start with $400. I can now buy a 2021 BMW 440M. That is unreal. Let's go into the auction and see what we can come home with. Actually, before we go into the auction, I want to show you something. See this shirt? Bring back German. I made these. I love the fabric of these shirts. I actually wear the German shirts more than I wear the flying wheel shirts because they're so comfortable. All of the profits, if you guys want to support German, and if you guys want to help them out, all the profits of the German t-shirts will go right to German. So if you want to help German out, support German, there's a link down below. You can buy any of our merch. I mean, if you buy the Flying Wheels merch, you help support our channel. You buy some German merch, it goes right to German. So click the link down below to buy yourself some really, really comfortable soft fabric tees with German or my face or Flying Wheel stuff. Link right down below. All right, now let's go in the auction. Ooh, as I'm walking in, I spotted this, a 98 Ram 2500 Cummins turbo diesel with the hitch, with the fifth wheel hitch in a long bed. These things are worth a ton of money and it's clean. You Cummins truck guys, I know you're gonna love this thing and appreciate it. Has 107,000 miles on it. And look at the bed, not rotten. Wow. What is original exhaust? What is this thing worth? I couldn't even tell you. Tell me, what is that worth? I have no idea. Why do I keep going back to this Accord? I have no idea why. I love beaters. Now you do charge the scale. Seven hundred dollars. It's not cheap anymore. Like Four or five hundred so dollars. Five this might in fact just be the coolest wagon I've ever seen. Station wagon. Why does it look so sleek? This is an awesome looking car. 
We have three coming up right in a row. The Corvette, the Corolla, and that Buick Skylark thing over there. I would have absolutely bought that BMW, but the accident kills it. It's a 21 with 2,000 miles. That's a hard resell for anybody. And they didn't sell it anyway. It didn't even meet the dealer's number. The dealer owns it for too much because they bought it clean and then somebody backed into it in their parking lot, which kills the value because it was an accident on the history. Red flag right away, so that kind of stinks. But uh, another dealer told me that I gotta go check out his car in the B lane because there's a first Olds he brought over there, so we're gonna look at that too. Yes, confirmed, it's a Chevy 350 for some reason that has 427 numbers on it. Non-matching numbers on Non-matching numbers on But it is a 427? Okay, you got a 350 in there, okay guys? Wanna let you know, it is mismatched, it's a 350. what that Corolla did. I want you guys to comment what that Corolla's worth now. Comment down below now and I'll tell you what that car sold for. It is, guess high, okay? It's an 89 Corolla DX, like base model, nothing special. Comment down below what you think that that sold for. And the Corvette, I was bidding at seven grand, which I think is high, and he wanted 9,500. I don't know, is that worth it? Tell me. Auction is over. I gotta say, prices, some were high, some were low. I think things are starting to like average themselves out now. I can tell you the trick to buying certain things I've noticed, like if you notice some of these have stickers on them, I look at the ones with faded stickers because it means it's been here a while and then hopefully the seller's more likely to start letting the price get, letting the price down a little bit, dropping the price a little bit, which I think worked in my favor on one of them. I bought a 15 Expedition EL, I bought an 11 Jeep Wrangler and I bought an 04 Maxima, which I always tell you guys never to buy Nissan products but there's a reason I bought this one and I'll show you. I also have two ifs. If meaning I was the highest bidder, I didn't meet the seller's reserve. We're gonna check those out first because it's right there. All right, this is a 16 Nissan Titan. What is it, 17 Nissan Titan V8. I love their Cummins versions of these, but this is just a V8 product. It's a 2017 with 80,000 miles and it is clean. You can see they have a window sticker 32, which is just ridiculous. I'm a high bidder at 19,600, which is low, but it's not truck season. And you've seen my videos, truck prices are falling. So if I get this one, I think we will do all right. I've already checked it out, checked the engine and transmission, all that stuff. So we should be pretty good if we get this one. That one is an if. The other is 93, which is a Ford F-250, probably right there. Now that is a 16 Ford F-250 with 80,000 miles, 6.2 liter, not the power stroke, which diesel prices are down, gas prices, you know, whatever. They're still leveled out. People want the gas over the diesel now. This is a Lariat version. 80,000 miles, I'm high bidder at 26, which to me seems high for 2016, but book on it's like 30. So we'll see about both of these a little bit later. Let's go see what we bought. Pop, E49, I'll let you drive this one. Let's go check it out. Oh, before I forget, I told everybody that I would tell you what that Corolla sold for. Pop, 89 Toyota Corolla, crank windows, no power locks, just real basic car, 100,000 miles, but it looks like a brand new Corolla. Remember the one Graham had when I was growing up? Yeah. Same as that car, but silver. $8,900. Was that car even that much new? Oh my God. Um, it's wild. I don't think so. How much was her Camry back then? Do you remember? I think hers was a 93, but it's the same car. Maybe 14 grand, maybe 15 grand. Oh, the Corollas, I don't remember. Okay. I knew the Camry well, well, was close to 20. 
That Corolla sold for $8,900 plus auction fees, which yeah. blew my mind. Edward 49, which is right down there, is a 2004 Nissan Maxima. Craig, why are you buying a 2004 Nissan Maxima? I always tell you, don't buy Murano's, don't buy Sentra's, don't buy Rogue's, don't buy Altima's. But there's a reason I bought this one, and I'm gonna show you right now, if I could find it. I don't even know where it is. It's missing from its spot, Pop. Should be right here. Someone's driving around looking for their car, which means I'm gonna have to search the entire parking lot for our car. All right, 30 minutes later, we found the Maxima because I actually looked up the wrong number. So it wasn't there because it was my fault. I was looking for the wrong car. Here's why I bought this car. Number one, if you grew up in the 80s and 90s, you know the Maximas were amazing, amazing cars. And then Nissan just went way downhill, like 2001, 2002. But if you get it in a six speed, it is still an amazing car. This is the same 3.5 liter V6 and CD009 six speed transmission as the Nissan 350Z that I just recently sold. You get leather interior, you get the rear sunscreen, the sunroof. These cars are amazing if you can find them in a six speed transmission. 04, it's an old car. I have to check for rust because we're in New England. Let's see what else I bought. Hey, so my camera died at the dang auction yesterday. So it's the next day and I'm gonna show you what I bought yesterday. Now we went over the six speed Maxima, which is actually really nice and kind of fun. I also bought a 2015 Ford Expedition Limited EL with 123,000 miles. But our next Ferrari flip video and a different video, a Jeep Wrangler video is, oh, I just gave it away. That right there, that Jeep Wrangler is a 2011 and there's some weird quirky things about it. Like there are a lot of accessories here, here and there and there. And what is this thing? Key back, key back, never seen such a thing before. It is a sport Wrangler, see accessory, decals, lights, bar, more lights, tow hooks. But wait till we get inside. So you'll see like, map pockets and eight balls and more map pockets and a different lighter but that is really cool that infotainment display is pretty amazing for it and then there's like wiring like frayed and cut wiring everywhere os handles it has 162,000 miles the carpets are out look at this is that an ac dc converter it's a power inverter carpets there but wait but wait there's more first of all check this out we got a rear view camera set up. This thing's heated seats. Aftermarket heated seats in a Jeep Wrangler? I've never seen such a thing. So check this out. So we have like more lights and more lights and plugs. Like, and one of these safety things. Like, was this guy an electrician? Or was, did he do stereos and lighting? What's up? What's the backstory? There's like wiring everywhere on this Jeep. I can't figure it out. And then in the next video, I actually have two videos coming out. One is this Ferrari flip series. Oh, look at more lights, even down there. This Ferrari flip Jeep, we're gonna figure this thing out and get to the bottom of it. Look at more accessories right there. Just like nothing amazing, just a lot of weird add-ons, strange. So we're gonna go through this Jeep, gonna figure out what the story is with it. And we're gonna try to sell it for a profit, roll it into our next Ferrari flip video. I also went to an auction like three months ago, a different auction. You might've seen it where I said, I didn't like this new auction. I bought a 2008 Jeep Wrangler. I've had that thing. I said three months, I think I bought it five months ago and I've been sitting on it and sitting on it. Why? Because the Jeep Wrangler market has completely changed. Jeep Wranglers were my thing last year. I was hustling Jeep Wranglers left and right. Well, the market has dropped. And in the next video, before this next Ferrari flip video, I'm gonna explain what is going on with the Jeep Wrangler market, why, what is happening. It is weird. So stay tuned for the Jeep Wrangler video and the other Jeep Wrangler video. And we are at, we were at $67,000. Now we have $67,000. Plus this Jeep Wrangler, which I paid like, let's figure out what we paid for it before I end this video. Holy moly. I thought I paid 11 grand for that car. That is an 11 Jeep Wrangler. I paid $6,780. That is insane. And that is what the next video is about. It doesn't even have to do anything with Ferrari flips. You know, I do a lot of Jeep Wranglers. I have a lot of Jeep Wranglers and like a Jeep Wrangler playlist. If you want to catch up on all of them, I have a lot to talk about Jeep Wranglers and what has happened to them and their market and, and everything and why. So stay tuned for that video. If you want to figure out when it comes out, you can hit the bell for notifications and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Thanks for watching. Oh, a like? Just like it because it's just helpful for me. It helps boost the algorithm. So it's a favor for me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Adios.